That can was empty, by the way. So Clash Royale has recently announced all the changes that they are going to be making to Clan Wars 2 in the next update. So there are actually quite a few changes that are being made to Clan Wars 2. Some of them are pretty good, I think, and some of them are pretty bad. So today we are going to go over all of the changes and the implications I think they will have for Clash Royale and whether or not this update will save Clash Royale. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Before we go ahead and get to the video, if you are new to the channel, then I would greatly appreciate it if you would leave a like and subscribe down below. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers, so any help is greatly appreciated. So the first major fix was the time zone issue. Basically, the issue was that certain time zones being ahead of other time zones had an opportunity to complete their river race before like other time zones were even awake. So that just was completely unfair and you know, it was impossible to win, you know, the river race sometimes. So basically what they did is they changed it so that the wars will start at 10 a.m. UTC and then they will be on a 24 hour cooldown. So you have a 24 hour window to like play all your matches and then there will be a cooldown. So this is a solid change in my opinion and definitely one that helps fix the issue of time zones but 10 a.m utc isn't an ideal time zone for a lot of people at least for like a lot of people in the united states it isn't ideal because i'm in the eastern time zone of the united states and for me that's 5 a.m in the morning and at 5 a.m 99 percent of mornings i am still sleeping so i'm not going to be awake to do my war battles so overall i think that this change is pretty solid and why it doesn't totally fix the issue it does definitely help the time zone issue Next up is they set a participation cap. So basically a lot of clans were cheating the system of Clan Wars 2 because they were cycling players in and out of clans. So that way they could go in the clan, they could do their you know battles with duels and their 1v1 battles and then leave the clan and cycle more players in. So that way they could finish the river race really quick. So what they did is they capped it so that way you can only have a maximum of 50 people participating in a singular clan war and you can't rotate people in and out. So I really like this change. It prevents people from cheating the Clan Wars 2 system. I know the people that were cheating the system are going to be extremely mad about this change, but for everyone else, this is a very good change and a much needed change. Next up is the one that I think a lot of people were hoping for, but I think a lot of people are going to be a little bit disappointed for as well, which is matchmaking. So overall, I believe that this was a step in the right direction, but I don't think that it is what people necessarily wanted. So basically how it works is that clans are now matched up against other clans based on their performance in clan wars. So if you're an extremely active clan, you're going to be matched up with other extremely active active clans to kind of help balance out the river race. Now, I do think this is a solid change, but as I said, it's not what everyone wanted. Most people wanted a system in which matchmaking will put them up against people with, you know, the same king tower level or same card levels. But of course, this isn't that. Although from my point of view, you know, being just a little Clash Royale YouTuber, I can actually kind of understand why they did. Ultimately, Supercell, the game developers of Clash Royale are a business and, you know, they have to make money. And so I think what they're thinking is by not setting a standard, it will make people want to upgrade cards more, which will ultimately lead to more people um, investing money into the game. I think that's their mindset, but let me also talk about what I would do in this situation. Personally, what I would do is I would set a standard based on the league of your clan. So in Legendary League, I would set no standard because I feel like most of the clans in Legendary League are competitive enough. Most people in Legendary League clans, you know, they have max level cards. They can at least have one or two max decks. Then a couple of decks are like level 11 or 12 so i wouldn't set a standard for that for gold league clans i would set a standard at level 12 maximum because you know they're still kind of competitive in a way but you know not um totally where legendary league clans are and then for silver clans i would set it at level 11 and then bronze level clans i would do level 10 so that way there is some sort of standard but it's still you know kind of in a way incentivizes people to invest more money in the game i don't really know much about business at all i'm still in high school and all that but i think that this would be a pretty solid business model i think it would help supercell you know reel in money while at the same time you know making the player base a little bit happier so overall this matchmaking change was a pretty solid change it should help things a lot but it didn't fix the overall issue that a lot of people wanted fixed so next up, we have new river lengths. Basically, what this means is that depending on your league, the amount of fame needed to complete the river race will vary. So I really like this change, mainly for the smaller clans out there, because a lot of smaller clans weren't finishing the river race at all. But this change should help a lot of the smaller clans be able to finish the river race. And actually, one important detail is that this isn't actually coming in this update, but it will start with the next clan war season, which will begin on December 7th. 
Next up, we got a little bit of a fame boost. So basically what this means is that if your clan is lagging behind in the river race, you will gradually get multipliers to the fame that you get from doing battles. So that way it can help you finish the race. So that way you don't get stuck with like that boot, which is like full of nothing. Next up, we have my personal favorite change in Clan Wars 2, which is rotating game modes. So before it was just duels, 1v1s and that was it but now with every week for the river race we're going to be having rotating game modes such as stuff like triple elixir draft battles and sudden death and stuff like that i don't 100 know about 2v2 because i didn't show that in the trailer but i assume that some 2v2 game modes will be implemented into the river race another thing i don't know for sure of is whether they're going to add more slots for game modes because of course right now there's only two just the duels and the battles and if they only have two rotating slots i don't think that'll be the best i think if they added a third slot where they could have another game mode as well I think that would be pretty solid, but this is a pretty cool change as well. I like the rotating game modes. Then we got a few UI changes. I'm not going to go into these totally in depth, but basically they're meant to help like leaders manage clans better. Like they're making it so that way you can see, you know, how many cards people are donating, you know, what league they're in, um, their trophies and stuff like that. You know, how active they've been. Those are features that already have been in the game, uh, but it's just, been, it's just basically meant to help, you know, clan leaders do better. And also the chat is going to be a little bit more, you know, uh, appealing to look at, I guess you could say. Um, so that's cool as well. Then they also made some changes to the Supercell ID. If you've played Brawl Stars or Clash of Clans before, then these changes have already been implemented. Um, so it's nothing too complicated. Basically, it just means you can add friends through Supercell ID instead of, you know, having to like send a message like click this link to add your friends in Clash Royale. Uh, it's a much overdue change, but an appreciated change as well. Then they also added some quality of life changes and some bug fixes. They didn't specify all of these in the video, but one of them was basically, you know, uh, sometimes for doing boat battles, you didn't get gold, so they changed that. Um, I think that was the biggest one that they mentioned in the video, uh, but just a little bit of bug fixes just, you know, kind of make the experience better. Then a surprise actually, one that I did not expect, we had some emergency balances. So the graveyard is actually going to be having its balance reverted because the balance of the graveyard, which was meant to be kind of a rework slash nerf, ended up being a buff and making graveyard a little bit better. So they're gonna revert that. Um, and I think they're actually gonna try to rework graveyard completely in the future. So be expecting that. They also tweaked the hover mechanic of the battle healer and the royal ghost, which was added as well. And basically this is just gonna make it, you know, kind of apply to the laws of physics so like uh the battle healer and the royal ghost they won't be able to like hover through buildings uh they also won't be able to like push back air troops and stuff uh basically the hover mechanic is just going to allow them to like hover over the river and that's pretty much it and then of course we all already know about the electro giant buff that he'll be getting where basically his reflected attack will scale with the level of zap so previously it was stuck at a level six zap but now they're changing it so that way for like example a level 13 electro giant will scale with a level 13 zap which again is a much needed change and hopefully it'll make the electro giant better that would be really cool to see another thing to know is at the end of the video they did say there will be a lot more changes to clan wars 2 so stay tuned for some more of those and also a new legendary card was teased at the end of the video and i think that will be coming in the next season in december which is going to be pretty dang cool so yeah that's really all the changes that they had which was a lot of changes there's a bunch of them and i kind of gave my opinions on them already but i just kind of want to give my opinions overall of the changes so overall, I think this is a pretty solid update for Clash Royale. I think they addressed a lot of the issues that the community wanted changed in Clan Wars 2, uh, but they missed the mark on the biggest one, I think, which was matchmaking, which was very unfortunate. But for the most part, I think Clash Royale definitely hit the mark with this update, and I think it will make Clan Wars 2 a much better experience. So let's kind of talk about what is next for Clash Royale. So honestly, in my opinion, they said that they're going to focus on more improvements for Clan Wars 2, but I don't think that needs to be their priority. You know, Clan Wars are a cool feature to have in the game, but it's only one part of the game and it's not even the biggest part of the game. There are bigger issues in this game that need fixing. And of course, those issues are the issues with ladder and the matchmaking and ladder and like how the meta is just interesting to say the least and then also challenges need a major rework as well so you know i would personally be happy with more changes to clan wars 2 but i don't think clash Royale needs to focus on clan wars 2 anymore i think they should leave it as it is for a long time maybe come back to it a little bit later but they need to focus on a lot of other important things in clash royale so in terms of the future for clash royale i'm still very optimistic <laughs> 
So a lot of you guys may make fun of me for saying this, but I still genuinely believe in the Clash Royale development team. I still believe that they want the best for this game. I truly believe that. And I still believe that they're working hard to make the game better. I really do believe that. I know a lot of people don't believe that, but really, I believe that from the bottom of my heart. So I'm still very hopeful for the future of Clash Royale. This update was definitely a step in the right direction for Clash Royale. And I hope that in 2021, they take this game to new heights ever seen before so yeah that's gonna be it for our discussion of this clan wars 2 update whatever thoughts you guys have about the update be sure to leave them in the comment section down below i love to hear what you guys think about this update uh what you guys think about what i think about the update let me know about that as well or let me know what other changes you would make to the update basically just comment anything that you have relating to about this clan wars 2 update but anyway gamers if you guys did enjoy this video then be sure to leave a like down below i greatly appreciate it and also if you guys are new to the channel and you like what you see as i said earlier be sure to subscribe down below i'd greatly appreciate it but anyway gamers it's your boy solar fury signing off peace out guys have a nice day